Welcome there, my Jingle Jingles. How you doing today? We've got some Bloons Monkey City action. Today, we're going to continue on with our Deleting the Black series. We're almost done. I mean, I think I think we only have to do, like, one more little thing up here. But then we're going to have to uh, kind of drop down and go towards the bottom down there. So, hopefully we can clean this up in just, you know, a few more videos. But, you know, we're still a ways away. So, let's do it, man. Let's make sure we click the right one. I don't want to beat the wrong tile over here. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Again, no banana farms. This is one of these stupid tiles. And don't allow banana farms. Click on the FIBA and they don't let me do it. So we're going to do some sort of ninja start. We're going to go like this. We're going to go, we're going to go, boom, monkey village. No, do a ninja. We're going to go, boom, boom, three, two. We're going to non-stop this shiz, man. And we're going to get a cannon over here as well for our lead popping power. If we have to, we'll use a pineapple. But I don't think it's going to be too necessary at the moment. So, I mean, how's things going with you guys? I mean, I'm doing pretty, pretty decent so far. I'm finally getting my, my, my normal video setup done. By the way, I got some questions in, in, in like, the, the past videos. Where's the face cam at, Chris? What is going on? I think for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do only mobile videos as my face cam videos. And all the Flash videos, I will not be doing face cam videos on. And... There's, there is some method, there is a method to my badness, I'm actually doing this for a reason, basically, the main reason is that, uh, the way my green screen is set up, it is not that great working with flash. And the way my camera works, because I'm not using a webcam, by the way, I'm using a legit camera, so the way that, the way that's set up is not going to work very well with, with any sort of, uh, computer screens. So, you know, I have a big monitor, and, like, I would literally have to put the camera, like, in front of the monitor or something like that. I don't know exactly how the heck I would do it. I guess it's possible. I could probably rig something up that would make it work in some weird, odd way. But at the moment, it's just like, it's probably not worth it. And I'd rather just, rather just not do it. And that way we can keep, uh, you know, both both people's happy. If somebody says, Chris, you look really, really creepy, which I have heard a few times already. Sorry if you think I'm creepy looking. Um... But yeah, if you like, like I said, I want to make both people, both sets of people happy. But in general, expect to see a lot more face cam videos in the future, especially because I'm, I mean, the world is turning mobile. I'm not going to lie. Um, I do like the Flash version and everything. I, I grew up playing the Flash version, but it is sadly dying, and uh, mobile's getting updates left and right and up and down and all over the place. And I think, you know, if if Beat, if uh, Ninja Cube makes another game, they're probably not going to make it even. Flash at all. They're just going to change it over into a, a, a mobile game. So let's be a little careful here. We got some LEDs coming out. So I'm going to get my second cannon. I'm also going to get a spike factory back here, just because I like to have them. And we're going to get our second Ninja Flown. So still no Moabs coming out. So I'm actually quite happy at, at the lack of Moab so far. Um, you know, I don't have any news on any new games, but I, I have, I have this weird feeling. I just like, dude, Ninja Kiwi, you've been, you've been making no new games for years. What, there, there has to be something going on. There has to be something big in the making. So I'm really hoping that, you know, by, maybe by the end of this year, or maybe next year, early next year, or something like that, we can get some new Ninja Kiwi games going and, you know, um, uh, restart the Ninja Kiwi fad. Restart the Bloons fad. Because, uh, it's not that Bloons is dying at all. It's not dead, it's not dying, but less people are playing it. I mean, it's just it just makes sense when you have a game that's two years old or whatnot. People start to get bored. I will never get bored of Bloons. Bloons is my favorite game in the history of the world. Um, I love it. I love playing it. Um, it does get a little bit boring every once in a while, depending on you know what I'm doing. With Bloons Monkey City, I will tell you that playing the same map like two or three times in a row, sometimes that happens, does get a little bit boring. It's like one straight hour full of just playing the exact same map over and over again. And oftentimes, because I'm playing the same map, I use the same strategy, because it's probably the best strategy. So that's when it gets a little bit boring. But... Um, in general, I don't know, I love Beat City Battles because every single game is different. You use different towers, you use a different map, you face a different player, therefore it's going to be different. Um, even when you play in the same map, in the same, uh, with the same towers, you don't always play it the same way, because people play differently. Sometimes you might go blue Nico, more blue Nico, less blue Nico, depending on how aggressive your opponent is. So that's why I feel like it, it's kind of nice to just have this, uh, uh, basically never-ending fun zone, which is <laughs> blue TD Battles. Alright, so I got my uh, my basic setup over here. I got my two ninjas, my two Moab Maulers. What else do we want to combine in here? Uh, we can do pretty much anything. I would love, 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 lovety, 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 lovety to get a super monkey up to a Roboplasma. So I would, I don't know, because I want to do it, I'm going to try. So we go like this. I want to put it inside the range of the monkey village, though. I absolutely have to. Otherwise, it's pretty much worthless. Uh, 
Draw. There we go. Okay, that should be in the range. Let's get a let's get a Robo Monkey first. That's my basic plan. Let's get a Robo Monkey first, then we'll switch over into a Robo Plasma, and then we're gonna get a Zero One Monkey Fort after that, or probably maybe get Zero One before the uh, Robo Plasma. <sighs> Getting confused in my thoughts, man. My brain is like this giant maze, and sometimes I have to like. You know, I'm like the little mouse. I'm running through the maze, and there's water chasing me down, and I'm like, oh my god, how the heck am I gonna get out of here? Oh, crapper snapper doodles. Oh, goodness gracious, this is not good. This is ABFB. Uh, I don't know what we're to do. Hopefully these ninjas are strong enough. I don't have any explosions or anything. I mean, just these two cannons over here. But it's looking pretty nasty right now. Come on, little ninja buddies, you can do it. Looking pretty good. It looks like we will. Could possibly. And we will take them down. All right, look at that sexy action right there. And now we have forded the Robo Monkey. So let's get the monkey fort, like I was saying. In fact, you know what? Let's get the uh, monkey beacon and the jungle drums as well. We already got some pretty decent towers. Now you're going to notice the ridiculousness and in, in, in change. Like before, we were like, oh no, we're losing. Now we destroyed them all right here. Roboplasma is a solid tower. Especially for early game like this. and I, Or mid game, I guess. Um, late game, once you get two billions of BFBs and billions of Zoma Gods coming out, and that's when he starts to lose his edge a little bit. Alright, so we got that thing going. We'll get this guy, and we will go for. A radar scanner, and we're gonna go for the laser, and then eventually the plasma. But now we're at the point where we're getting a little bit less money. The money's becoming not scarce, but it's getting a little bit, getting a little dangerous to find. I feel like uh, you know we're just like digging in our backyard right now, and then all of a sudden you know we're like oh boom, and then just like we're like wow what the heck was that noise? Bonk bonk! Well, what the heck was that? And we find a treasure chest filled with clams. Like oh crap. People really like clams back in the day. We like opened up this treasure chest really slow and everything. Like, oh, what's gonna be inside? There's gonna be giant things of gold or something like that. And no, they fail with the clams, the dirty old clams. Somebody already probably took the treasure from me. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should buy a really fancy chest and just go bury it somewhere random and just uh, uh, I don't know. 20, 30 years, somebody will probably find it and be like, oh my god, what the heck's gonna be in here? And just have, like, I don't know, something really, really funny in there, and they'll be like, oh my god, and give them my phone number, and then have them call me and be like, oh, did you find my chest? <laughs> I would like to, I wanna leave my phone number in there. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be the same by that point. I don't know. Whatever. I just think that would be hilarious to do, just to troll people. I don't always troll people, but when I troll people, I troll people hard. The 30-year joke, that's what we could call it. So we go, we've got the frag bombs, or maybe I can give people clues, just leave this giant clue thing that somebody eventually, hopefully, maybe find, and then uh, follow through with all the clues and finally find the treasure chest, and then boom, have it be nothing. So no, this clam thing never actually happened to me. Just, just point that out, never found a treasure chest full of clams or anything like that. I just thought it'd be funny if that, uh, that happened. Alright, so we've got things pretty much flowing pretty nice in here. we got our, our six Moab Mollers, we got our Roboplasma, we've got our two Ninjas. What else do we want to combine in here? Well, our grouped Balloon Popping Power is still a little bit limited, so let's at least get one mortar. Let's get one mortar for grouped Popping Power. I'll get him over to the left side. Now, my, my, my uh, camera detection is not bad because I have this guy, but uh, I am not going to go for the Monkey Intelligence Bureau. I do not want to get an Arctic Wind. I want to try and stay away from him for as long as possible. So let's see what happens. Let's see if everything goes according to plan. Um, can I combine in here anything else that might be kind of effective? I don't know, a boomerang maybe? Something like that. I guess we can go for... Oh, you know what? A glue gunner would be kind of nice. Let's get a glue gunner. Two and eventually two, two, and eventually hopefully a two, three. I don't know. I would like a two, three. It's kind of my main, my main man, my main plan goal. So now we're getting to the point where we are fighting Zoma Gods, though. So this is where you got to be kind of careful, man. These Zoma Gods can be deadly. So darn deadly, and mainly the balloons inside is the most deadly part, especially if you got a Roboplasma. Like, don't worry about the Zoma God layer if you got a Roboplasma, but the balloons inside, yeah, they can be dangerous, man, they're absolutely, absolutely dangerous, especially with a bunch of Moabs coming out on top of that. So also, I'm leaving my, uh, my guy on first. I do not want to put him on strong right now, because I want to chug through these balloons. To the main plan, I want to have the, the most time available to let my towers do their work. Alright, so I feel like I am probably going to lose right here. There's a lot of BFBs on top of his oh my god, and that is never a good scenario. <laughs> never, ever, ever a good scenario. But now we're getting some of, some of this stuff glued, so let's put him on strong. Let's see what happens here. And we're going to mortify a lot of these blues and kill them all, and eventually we're going to get a 2-3 just a thousand dollars away. Maybe I'll sell 
Do I have to get one of those guys? I don't know. Should I? I don't know. It's getting dangerous over here, man. $500 away. $500. So we have to sell this, dude. We have to get the glue gunner. Glue hose. Come on, glue hose. Put him back on first. Oh, crap. This isn't looking good at all. Oh, crap. This isn't looking good at all. Oh, crap. This is looking terrible. Oh, God. We're going to lose the game. <laughs> so we're going to continue. All right. So what are we going to do here? Um... Man, oh man, this is stupid. So we got rid of our monkey village. Let's do it like this. Let's go... Let's go like this. We're gonna go... Blah, 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 blah. Keep them on circle path. This guy's worth 17. Yeah, okay. We're gonna sell the Roboplasma whenever we need to. We're gonna get ready to sell this guy and buy this guy. So leave this guy in first for now. We got the 2-3 glue gunners. Now we're gonna slow all these balloons down a little bit. Also put the mortar back in the right spot, Chris. Put it back in the right spot. And basically, we're hoping to ground zero through a lot of these balloons right here. So we're going to have to sell this guy very, very soon. Get ready for it. Follow the mouse. Follow the mouse. We're going to sell this guy, get the ground zero, and hit three, two, one. Kablooey! And we kablooified them, but it's still not enough. We still have a oh my god left over. Oh, crap. That is the best word that I can use for this scenario right here. So we're going to have to use a second ground zero to shizzle that thing. And now we just have to wait it out. I might be able to get a second round zero without having to sell it, but I don't think that's going to happen. But maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Alright, now it's definitely not going to happen. Let's just get it set up. Let's just boom, shock a log of this guy, get another ground zero. We can afford it, barely, and it looks like we will clean these guys up. Fantastic. Sometimes you just need to do those weird, stupid things that you wouldn't normally think about doing. Alright, so... Technically, we can see everything, right? No, is there one black... No, we can see everything. Sweet. Sweet, pity sprinkles. Alright, so, still no chests over here, no nothings. I feel like there's one, there's gonna be like the very last black tile that I find is going to be like five treasure chests, or like this big bundle of five treasure chests just, just hiding there. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to, um, I don't know, should we go down this way now? I think that's probably the best thing for me to do, just go, because we can technically see all of these. Yeah, let's let's go this way. Let's do a diagonal down here, and uh, it's also kind of nice because we're actually finally getting away from these stupid forest tiles, dude. These things are annoying. I don't like the forest tiles. I much rather play these deserts or, or other weird tiles like that because we can get boomerangs finally flowing in here, man. Boomerangs are finally a good tower. So let's do it like this. I think we can get banana. Oh, we can we can get banana farms as well. This is exciting. So we're gonna do a banana farm with a boomerang. We're gonna go a quick zero three. Get this guy up to one zero and. Let's just do that and get a second banana farm. Alright, so we're going to get two one zero banana farms with a 1-3 boomerang, and then very soon after that, we're going to get our 2-3 going. But I think the 1-3 is going to annihilate a lot of these balloons for at least a little while. As you can tell, he's rock star on these things. Yellow's got nothing on my boomerang. Ain't got nothing on me. Woo! It's exciting, man. So our biggest weakness right now is obviously the camo balloons. The camo balloons are very, very deadly. So we're going to get a spike factory. Maybe combine him up with a ninja or something like that a little bit later on. We can get spike factories in this, right? Oh, we cannot. We cannot get spike factories. Hmm, interesting. All right. So let's, let's do... Let's do one more banana farm, I guess. Switch it up a little bit. Switch up our strategy. And then I will go for... I don't know, should we do the mortar straight away? Where should we go for the ninja? All right, let's get a ninja. Let's go ninja right there. You know, let's do it like this. This is kind of funky, but I feel like it's going to be so funky, it's going to be fresh. So, let's get this funky action here. We're going to go two ninjas, and we're going to go for a third ninja. Just to clean up all these little baby blooms that might be sneaking through. You know, it's kind of weird to get a lot of low level ninjas, but they're surprisingly effective. Especially against weird blooms that you might not expect to be hard to kill, like ceramics. I will say that I barely ever see early ceramics. When I see something, it's usually an early Moab or something like that. So make sure we put this on non-stop mode. I've been kind of lazy lately. Uh, with with uh, clicking things. I don't like clicking things. So what are we going to do now? Um, we got three banana farms. We've got our low-level ninjas. We have to worry about the Moabs. That's the next best thing, man. What are we going to do with a bit about these Moabs? Let's use our free dart monkey. And let's get another boomerang. Uh, I am feeling the boomerang today. I'm going to go for a bunch of 0-3s and eventually a uh, bunch of 2-3s. And hopefully that'll be enough to actually pop the Moab. You might not think it is, but it is. BFP is on the hand, maybe not so much. So here we go. Um, there's the first Moab. Alright, so we're going to road spike it. 
I'm going to road spike this guy two times, and let's see. Hopefully this is enough to pop the first uh, set of ceramics. Sadly, it is not. So I'd use... Oh, we actually lost some lives on that! Schneer! Schneer! That's no good. That's no good at all. So we're going to have to get our other 2-3 boomerang. Now this time, by this point, we should be fine. Now keep in mind also that I have three banana farms at the moment, which is a big chunk of extra money by the time we get to the end of the game. So now hopefully this is enough. No, it is not enough still? What? Are you kidding me? Three 2-3 two, three boomerangs? I know, they're not designed for moabs, but still. I felt like they're designed for big chunks of balloons like ceramics like that. Oh, rawr. So we got a fourth 2-3 boomerang. Come on now. Let's chug through them. Let's do it. All right. Barely, but yeah, we did it. And now, since we have him slightly earlier, it should be a little bit better. All right. Keep on doing this, man. If we lose one life there, two lives there, it doesn't matter. We already lost some lives. We're going to continue on with our banana farms. Woo! Two zero banana farms, three zero banana farms, four zero banana farms, four two banana farms! I feel kind of evil. A little bit evil when I sing like that. Reminds me of Adventure Time. I don't know why. Do you guys ever watch that show? I don't really watch it very much, if if at all. I really don't know anything about it. I just watched a couple episodes where I was like, this is this is kind of interesting. I, I feel like I could like this show. And then I see it's a very big thing on the internet for some reason. Alright, so we got five two three banana farms now. <laughs> or I mean uh, two three boomerangs. So we got, there's our fourth nanner farm. How many nanner farms do we want to go for? I don't know. A lot. I'm thinking a lot. We'll have to see once we finally get there. There's four. There's five. Ooh, the camos, though. Oh, look at the camos. They're, they're getting bad. They're getting real bad. So we don't have any camo lead pop and power at all, and we have very little camo to pop and power. So let's get some extra ninja action in here. I'm thinking let's go for a fourth here. It's about that time. Honestly, it would have been kind of it would have been slightly better to go for this guy earlier on because he's better for Moabs, and we can use the two three boomerang four two ninja combo. We could have done that. Abs freaking lootly would have been very very solid. But in the spirit of having fun, we always do different fun, cool things like spamming the two three boomerangs from our pop and power because we know we can. All right, so we got one last banana farm right here. I think that's all the banana farms in the game, right? Right? No, one more. We got. Oh my god, there's a lot of banana farms. Is this really how many banana farms are in my uh, my place? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get eight banana farms. Holy crap! Holy crap! That's a lot of money. All right, so we got eight two zero banana farms. Absolutely ridiculous. So I don't know. I don't really talk about the banana farms that much anymore. It is the best thing. Oh crap! Oh goodness gracious! What are we gonna do here? Let's go for a mortar. So we got a Bernie stuff mortar now. Hopefully it'll chug through a lot of layers of these balloons. It looks like it is. It's doing a good job popping a lot of these layers. And we will clean them all up. Wee! Yay! So the two zero banana farm is the most effective low tier banana farm. Three zeros are not that good. They're not bad. Don't get me wrong. They're not bad, but they're just not as good. And then the uh, four two is actually the, the, the most effective. So usually you want to try and skip the three zeros and go to a four two as fast as possible. That's the main the main plan, the main goal um, in most situations. All right. So uh, that being said, we're gonna go for a four two fairly soon. I'm actually going, I'm getting very, very greedy with my stuffs. I realize that. I'm actually a bit surprised that we're able to pop BFBs with just these boomerangs and one ninja. I don't know. I'm not really used to that. And our baby, oh, this guy's the key right here. 500 pops out of that dart monkey. You don't realize how many pops they can actually get over time. They do. They do a pretty decent amount. All right, so let's get ready to do this selling action. We're going to go sell, we're going to go buy, we're going to go buy, we're going to go sell, we're going to go uh, sell, and we're going to go buy. All right. So we've got our fourth tier uh, banana farm. And we're going to start spamming a bunch more boomerangs. So we're going to get our uh, monkey village right here. And we're going to start spamming the boomerangs again. It's fun. It's fun to do. we got a bit. How many boomerangs do we even have? 32 boomerangs. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. I didn't realize I had that freaking many. And we can probably afford almost all of them. Maybe I'll go for one more fourth-tier banana farm, and then we can definitely sell, uh, afford them all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeedy. This is kind of exciting. Usually what I like to do is I like to get, like, two third-tier banana farms because I'm still not wasting too much money. And then I try and sell one of them to get my other one up to this this upgrade. That's what I like to do. Does it, not, does it always happen that way? No, not really. Sometimes it works out better. Sometimes it works out worse. Alright, still no Oh My God is coming out. That is good news. This wasn't a DDT tile, was it? 
I sure hope not. That would be terrible. Okay, so let's sell this guy. We're gonna go bonk, bonkity, bonk. And we've got it going. Alright, two fourth year banana farms. And now we just spam the boomerangs! On Blue's Monkey City, I like to stay away from the 3 0 but, uh, boomerangs in general. I don't know, I don't like them. They're okay. You can use them in some situations. Combos, yeah, of course, you can use them and make them work okay. But in general, I'm just, I'm not, I don't like them. I don't know why. Seem like they're not as good as the two threes. All right, so we got this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh my goodness gracious! It's all about upgrading them soon. All right, let's start start upgrading. Especially if we see a oh my god coming on. That's when we know we're gonna need these guys. Now I might actually get some fourth tier guys as well. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. Oh yes, look at that. So my cam detection is obviously quite lacking. So let's get some cam detection in here with our monkey village. Alright, let's get this gap to 1, 2, 1, and 2, two, 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 two. so we get a 2, 2 right now. Now we're getting to the point where multiple BFBs are coming out. But guess what? The boomerang power! Oh, yes! So we still got 16 more boomerangs. What are we going to do? How are we going to get all these guys in here? Well, let's spam them. Alright, just put them everywhere, man. Wherever you can fit them, we're going to go for our last monkey village, I guess, right here. We can make these guys even better as well. The boomerang spamage. Three, two, one, and none. All right, so we got no more boomerangs left. We've used all of them. We're all going to, they're all going to be three, two, or two, three, I mean. Yes. And then we might start upgrading some of them up to fourth tier as well. Wow, my contacts are so dry right now. It's ridiculous. Yes, I do wear contacts. I am nearly blind. Oh, here we go. We got our first Omega gun coming out. Let's see what happens. I hope we can kill it. I really hope so. If we can't kill it, I'm going to be very upset. Um, with all this boomerang power right here. And it looks like, yeah, pretty easily. And I think the cool thing about that is even if two Omega guns come out, it's going to be just as easy. It's more about the Omega god layer than the balloons. Keep in mind also that I do have uh, the ability to get a lot of extra 2-4s in here. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to move this guy down to the bottom here. It seems like that's what the Zoma gods are going to actually have the balloons start leaking through. Alright, and I guess, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's switch it up a little bit. We're going to get a, uh, a Glaive Lord. So we've got one Glaive Lord there. We're going to go for a second Glaive Lord down here as well. Switch it up a little bit. Have some fun with it, man. So we got a second Glaive Lord. Or just about to be a Glaive Lord. We're going to sell the Banana Farms now. No point in having Banana Farms when you don't need to have any more money than that. So we got two nice, delicious Glaive Lords over here. Check out the popping power. Woo! 3,000 on that. Just that one little run right there. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. Ridiculous. That's why Glaive Lords are good. They're good against ridiculous amounts of balloons. Lower, lower level balloons especially. This guy has 13,000 compared to the one boomerang that I bought at the beginning, 14, 15,000. This guy already has 13,000. After one round, or two rounds, whatever. Alright, so we get a bajillion dollars again. Uh, what do we want to spend it on? I don't know. What do you guys think? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Two delicious little specters, and now we're just going to wait the game out. I also didn't even upgrade these guys, did I? Oh no, I can't get them all upgraded in time, but that's okay. I feel good, I feel golden, I feel happy. I really want to go to a buffet. That's what I really want to do. I just, I'm not like starving. But I don't like to go to buffets starving, because then I eat too fast. And then I don't get to enjoy my food. It's kind of weird. I actually like um, going to buffets when I'm not fully hungry, because then I eat slower, and then I get to enjoy my food and just have a good time. Alright, so we got doubles, oh my gods, coming out. As you can plainly see, we are annihilating these guys. It's cool. It's kind of cool that the Spectres are actually attacking from the back, which is not something we're used to. We're usually attacking from the front, or or uh, from the side, I guess. Attacking from the back is just weird. It never happens. I don't normally put monkey asses in weird spots like that. No, like, normally, I'd probably put them over in this general area over here. Or maybe over here, or maybe in the top if I really wanted to get greedy, but... Yeah, yeah, that was a fun game. Overall, I liked it. And we get a monkey dollars pack! Woo! So we got eight right now, so I guess that's decent. So yeah, we can't actually get to these... If we had if we had to, we could get to these guys. But as you can tell, it doesn't say treasure chest or anything. So yeah, we know there's no treasure chest action over here. No treasure chest down here, but we gotta keep pushing. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over, I think, one more tile. 
Should we go over one more tile? No, I don't think we need to. I think we're just going to go straight down. Looks like we can see these tiles from right here. So we're going to go straight down now. Just DDT, DDT. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ridiculous tiles over here. Go straight down and just hopefully get rid of all of the black. You know, it's just, eh, it's just this giant line right here of, uh, of black. So... So what we got going on, guys, and also this is all technically seen, so I feel straight lines perfect. Anyways, that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button for me. I'd really appreciate that, and have a super duper delicious day.